A very good morning to one and all present here. Now we have the school anthem. greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He's the one that gets the people to do the greater things. And this is rightly said for an honorable speaker, Dr. Surinder Gole, felicitator in human excellence and principal of St. Vincent Peloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. So obtained B.E. and M. Tech in Mechanical Engineering from NIT Nagpur and doctorate degree in Industrial Engineering from National Institute of Industrial Engineering, Mumbai. He's completed his Biopsychology, M.S. 
Sir's initial experience was with Godrej Mumbai. Thereafter, he worked at Gate with several institutions as being a principal and HOD. Sir is a recognized guy for PhD in management and in engineering. He has to his credit for books and 47 research papers. He has been honored with national award for the paper published in Industrial Engineering Journal, where he also received the best paper award at International Conference on HR. Sir is highly reputed co corporate HR trainer and has conducted more than 350 training programs covering over 5,000 corporate participants from industries like LNT, Crompton Reeves, Mahindra and Mahindra Ultra Tech. Currently, Sir is involved in personality development tied to an EQ of students and corporate HR training. We are honored and elated to have you amongst us. Now, I request our Honorable Principal, Remre Mother Shine Alex, to welcome my esteemed guest. A respected uh, Dr. Surendra Gole, our uh, reputed person for this webinar. My dear students attending this uh, webinar in this uh, Google Meet, joining uh, from their Google Classrooms and uh, on uh, the YouTube channel of uh, the school, good morning to all. And uh, I extend a warm welcome this morning to one and all watching this uh, webinar on uh, the topic power of uh, concentration and uh, the magic of uh, conviction dear friends dear students i would like to share this morning uh, one of my uh, favorite quotes which i feel uh, is uh, quite apt for uh, the topic of this uh, webinar. What is in your mind doesn't matter. What is the matter? Never mind. What is in your mind doesn't matter. What is the matter? Never mind. The students and friends, if we have this casual attitude during this crisis period of uh, COVID, then it can be very, very difficult and dangerous. Our conviction, our determination, a strong willpower can make every one of us a winner in life. Our concentration and uh, our self-control can make all of us a champion in uh, our lives. So dear students, focus your target and target your focus. During this critical crisis of COVID-19, our uh, uh, conviction and the best of our concentration can definitely bring the desired result for the continuity of education and the development and growth of every one of us. And we can definitely excel mm -hmm. our performance in the upcoming board exams as you are seriously preparing for this board exams. We have this uh, morning with us uh, Dr. Surendra Gole, principal of St. Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur, a very, very eminent educationist to enlighten and guide every one of you, dear students, this morning. Dr. S Dr. Surendra Gole is uh, definitely an expert and an excellent orator, as we have heard him a number of times for uh, various uh, programs. And it was a uh, privilege for uh, the Montfort brothers, all the principals of uh, the Montfort schools in India, to listen to him in the in a conference at Hyderabad during the national conference of the principals of Montfort schools at Ramoji Film City, Hyderabad, 
he was one of our resources and thousands of students to develop right attitude and to have a proper aptitude aptitude to become successful in life it is a privilege to have you with us uh, this morning sir and uh, yeah. i extend a hearty welcome and wish you the very best for the sessions it is over to you sir thank you Thank you, Reverend Brothers. So over to you, sir. Okay. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, I'm really elevated by the introduction done by the madam, as well as the experience sharing by Principal uh, Brother Shine. And then uh, it is setting basically the expectation for the session. I'm very sure uh, I have planned my session in three components, uh, as I, I would like to share with you. First is the overview of the during COVID-19 and post COVID-19 situation. Second is the part of various virtues all of us are supposed to imbibe and acquire during the student age. And third, as indicated, I'll be zooming on the strength of conviction and power of concentration and how it going, is going to come handy to us. So another maybe a 45 minutes I'll be dwelling upon this. And maybe last 10 minutes will go for interaction because unless we have a live interaction, perhaps a lot many things are not clear or there could be perhaps uh, some opinion and remarks and maybe experience sharing from the uh, participant as well, which will be encouraging. Uh, let's go through the uh, presentation. Is it visible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible. You can uh, full screen it also. On, on slideshow, it was not moving actually. Okay, should I? It's visible now? Yes, yes. Sir. It is it's yes. visible completely? Yes, yes. Okay. Completely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sorry for this technical slack. I uh, will proceed ahead with the things. Okay. Uh, when we talk about growth and development during COVID 19, its consequences and ways to deal with them. Now, what are the various issues regarding the COVID-19? Like, like we are having problems on different nature, like physical, emotional, social, and educational. Like with the lockdown, we were not allowed to physically move out. Now, initial one month, one and a half month, it was terribly difficult that even we were not allowed to move in a groups, even for purchasing the vegetables, purchasing the groceries, we were required to go in isolation, that too in the three kilometers uh, radius of your residence. Now we felt that our freedom is basically getting narrowed down and it was a bit suffocation. Then naturally it will have the psychological and emotional impact and all of us were worried about the various uncertainties which were discussed on the television as well as in the newspaper that what's going to happen? How, how will be the world order? How things are going to happen? Our socialization, mixing with the people, playing games, then meeting the people, going to somebody's home, and people coming to our home, everything stopped. So it changed our life in such a way that uh, we, we were not never accustomed to this type of uh, situation. And it is definitely having a very much uh, in-depth effect on our all, uh, so, our all mental condition as well as physical condition, our health. More so, as a student, you must have uh, witnessed uh, in the educational scenario, like when we go to the school, when we go to the college, there is a different type of socialization. Our friends are there, our circle is there, we have chatting, we have gossiping, we have chit chat, we play together. And entire together, we uh, really have a charm of the life. Now, that charm of the life is completely missing and education we have to chew as a stuff which is compulsory and not enjoyable at all. All of you can easily understand that this online platform is not our choice. This online platform is a compulsion. Like how, how we can enjoy a playing cricket on mobile? How long we can play cricket on mobile? Do we really enjoy it? We wish to go on the playgrounds and directly play the game with the 
people, 11 on this side, 11 on that side. We enjoy, we enjoy, we want to enjoy every thrill of that particular game and we want to be the part of the game. Now, this particular virtual world can generate a feel that we are playing a game, but we are not allowed to directly play the game. We cannot get that joy of actually doing it. This may be in any domain, like for an education also, uh, some component can be delivered through the online mode, but then the feel of going to the school, attending the school, then uh, attending all the things, then the, uh, the recess also we enjoy with the uh, friends, and then having a tiffin together, every moment, every moment we enjoy, and now we are missing it. Now it is having a deep rooting psychological impact as well. Now we find there is a paradigm shift during and beyond the COVID. Now, during when I say the COVID-19, everything is going on, yet it is, we are not out of it. And it will also have an impact beyond, like whatever economic losses our country is having or entire world is having. It is said that we will require two to three years to recover those losses and go ahead with on the chain and trail of the prosperity. So difficult times are there for everybody. Environment and uncertainties are adverse and they result in spreading pessimism. Everybody thinks negative, negative, negative about the life, about the issues, about the things around us, what will happen. So uncertainty, life is full of uncertainty. But during COVID what happens, all uncertainties we take in a negative connotation. So a lot of pessimism is spread during the COVID. These are basically testing time. And now things become different. Challenges should be taken as opportunities. Like you tell me, before six months, how many of us were competent and conversant with this online teaching learning? How many of us were competent and comfortable with these platforms? In fact, many of us were not exposed to this. So these were the challenges. But as we are compelled to do so, it became opportunity. And the moment it became opportunity, we become comfortable with it. And later on, we can be absolutely um, uh, comfortable to such extent that we can be master of it. We can become expert in it. And then we can exploit this online platform uh, with all its virtues for making education better and better. Now, if this particular shock would not have been there, we would not have got exposed to these type of opportunities. So every challenge can be considered by pessimistic person as a calamity, but optimistic person will look at every challenge as opportunity. Old styles and habits need to be altered. Now, listening to a teacher, like a, 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 an artist playing in a drama on a stage, and as the audience we are witnessing, a teacher on the dais is, a, is a, a person who is lively performing in front of us. Now, that particular thing, it is very easy to sustain for one hour. But equivalently, you can consider the one hour online teaching learning is a little bit um, uh, pressurizing, it is a bit stressing for us to sustain. So our old styles and habits of enjoying the education along with the performance of uh, all the people, now this cannot be availed. So this is the constraint, not the choice. We have not desired for this, but we are compelled to do this. Digital platform of education will become predominant in a post-COVID uh, era as well. Quick adaptation will allow us to remain competitive. Uh, then typically you'll find importance of physical exercise and actual socialization should not be undermined in this increasing influence. Now look here, the physical exercise. Now unless we uh, take out the sweat out of our body, unless we get tired out of fatigue out of the exercise, typically we'll find that we will not remain fit. And then the actual socialization, not on the virtual uh, socialization, actual socialization can have a soothing effect and our, we are uh, relieved from all the stresses and our joy and comfort and entire uh, interest in the life is sustained and is increased. The virtual thing definitely try to give us some joy or the other, but along with the joy, it also gives us a stress as well. Now, as a student, whether it was a pre-COVID era or during COVID or beyond COVID. What a student is supposed to do, all of us are so, supposed to acquire. Acquiring commando characteristics and virtues during student age 
which will ultimately lead in future growth and development in career. Now, what we are supposed to do? Suppose uh, it is a slowdown and we are supposed to remain in the house. We are supposed to behave introvert. Now, this is the right opportunity to prepare ourselves for the external world. Thus, we try to simulate to become a commando in a in house wherein we are supposed to perform in due course in the future in an external environment as a commando. So what are the various traits, characteristics, the parameters of personal, uh, the human excellence, which are to be built during the student age, whether it is a pre-COVID, post-COVID or during COVID, they remain almost same. The only thing is that in the changing time, the one component becomes a higher dimension, that is the adaptability and flexibility. Like we find a student should imbibe all these qualities which are listed below. Physical health and well-being, positive attitude and initiative, verbal and non-verbal communication because everybody is known to the world through the communication. Either it is a verbal communication, Shabda Sahit Samvad, non-verbal communication, Shabda Rahit Samvad and body language, Sharir Bhasha. Now with all these things, uh, we become we become happen to known to the world at uh, at large and every interaction uh, we know the world and world knows us so it's basically mutual interaction and introduction continues throughout the life then we need to have faith in oneself and strength of conviction the strength of conviction and the power of concentration points i'll be discussing and explaining at length at the end there has to be self motivation now many students are very good if they are given the homework by teacher, they will definitely do. There are some students, if teacher gives homework and they observe that teacher is not meticulously checking the homework of every student, then later on gradually they stop doing the homework. There are some students, when teacher gives homework, without bothering whether teacher is checking or not, they are sincere and they complete the homework. Homework is for whom? Homework is for us. It is not for teacher. Teacher tries to monitor our progress via and during completion of the homework. That is definitely teacher is going to do. The only thing is that this entire exercise is in our interest. So our commitment, involvement and sincerity and honesty in completing homework is going to help us and not the teacher. But then many of us are not self-motivated. They require external motivation, sometimes positive motivation that you do studies, you do homework, then something will be given to you or negative motivation that if you don't do the homework, you'll be punished. Now, getting the negative or positive motivation out of the external environment is not proactive. What is proactive? Without, in the absence of the external motivation, positive or negative, still if an individual is self-motivated and then uh, he is able to become very effective, efficient and accepted by the world at large. Then we have flexibility and adaptability. Now, during COVID lockdown, we could have done like this, that we are not allowed to go to school and college. So let's not do the study and stop studying. But no, we have flexibly, we have shown the flexibility. We have adopted ourselves and all of us are getting tuned to this online platform. It is not that easy. It is very difficult, but then difficulties are always there in the life and we are supposed to take care of all the difficulties and come out clean and come out successful through all the passage of this hurdle race. Then we must have the depth of thought and logical thinking. Many people, they, uh, they basically lead their entire life out of the information and they don't have synthesis, they don't have processing. What I normally talk that current education uh, is making the students knowledgeable, is making the student more informed, but then two components according to me, they are uh, not cared too much or they are least attended. Mainly one is opinion formation and the other is decision making. Now opinion formation means uh, many people, uh, they know the things around us, but they don't have opinion on it. Like for example, should we have the woman reservation? 
now people can have the information about it they can say that the law was passed by rajya sabha on such and such date by lok sabha on such and such date it became a law on such and such date this is happening 30% reservation is there 35% is not there 50% is being demanded they will have information about everything about women reservation but if we ask simple question what is your opinion on women reservation should it be should it not be should it be fully should it be partially should it be time bound should it end sometime or it should be perpetual normally individuals say no opinion the current generation is getting full of information and they are lacking opinion is a dangerous sin and therefore as a virtue of a commando a student should build the habit of opinion formation it's not the habit cannot be inculcated it cannot be developed unless you have capacity to form the opinion and you must have willingness to form the opinion on everything one must have opinion now all these things they are basically they are dependent on your depth of thought suppose you are shallow then you will find very difficulty in forming opinion and expressing opinion then logical thinking is very much essential for decision making all parts of life as you grow in your career as you become senior maybe a uh, 10 years after your graduation you become a manager and you have maybe 50 people reporting to you and you are supposed to take decision about how they are going to work and who should work what and you have to take the work from them and then every point of time everybody is dependent on you for decision making decision making has two component which i already told one is logical thinking trying to do the cause benefit analysis critical analysis of the issue and second is opinion and then what you feel finally if you do the x one this is the thing if you do y this is the thing all alternatives are evaluated in front of you but ultimately decision maker has to converge on one decision and he is supposed to justify it later on in the future so there is a pressure and responsibility of decision making then we must we have know the presence of mind and reflex action typically if you ask some question to some uh, somebody then he takes lot of time to answer it it's maybe a small simple question um, if sometime it will it is being uh, said that if i ask question to a person what is your name what do you expect we expect instantly he will spell out the name because there is nothing to be thought about that particular thing and there is nothing to be remembered about it so it should be on his finger i mean it should be on the tips of his tongue and immediately he should respond what is your name my name is so and so quick as quick as possible now if he fumbles he take time he takes pause and he takes time to answer this what we say the fellow is very weak in presence of mind and reflex action he is a pakka tube light that means he takes lot of time to think and therefore such persons are not liked by the world at large and the corporate world will not give more importance to them as well as value them then creativity and imagination now creativity is the mother of all innovations and imagination will allow you to think that direction now these two facets of human being can make him distinct politeness has to be there whatever qualification you acquire whatever experience you get and whatever power position you sit typically you must have politeness vidya vinayana shobhate then you must have the humanistic impulse like whatever it may happen all of us are human being so if we are too much self centered very effective very efficient but not concern about others what will happen the society at large will feel that this fellow is absolutely self centered and he is not bothered about us then why we should be bothered about you and therefore instead of people being proud of you gradually they start envying you and after envying they will start pulling your leg and the well wisher becomes hater and then you realize that your journey becomes very much troublesome and whatever success you were able to get till that time the moment you are well wisher turned to be envier you find the future journey becomes more and more difficult if you have a humanistic impulse concern about others that is typically we say in a corporate language that every individual should grow every individual should good have good attitude and good aptitude if good attitude and aptitude is there you can raise yourself to higher and good altitude perfectly all right when you are growing see to it that you grow along with the people around you 
you need not grow in isolation if you grow in isolation the people surrounding you will not be proud of your growth and they will not feel the ownership of your growth and the love and affection is missing the life will become dry and things will not be as good as you are expecting like we say that when we try to fly the kite the kite is kite is going in the sky and we are holding the thread in our hand we all of us on the ground have ownership about the cat and we cheer we clap we enjoy as the kite goes up and up the higher the heights kite achieve all of us are very proud and we enjoy and tell others that my kite kite is at such and such height now just imagine if you cut the string the kite will further go and it will achieve higher altitude but then we say that kite is lost and then nobody is proud in the height obtained by the kite after the thread is cut understand the importance of this example so long as there are people those are interested in you climbing up and up in your career then there is the importance and significance to your career if there is nobody to clap for you nobody to concern for you nobody to care for you nobody to proud of your success your success in absolute sense doesn't make much sense and therefore the humanistic impulse will keep your touch with the society at large then practical efficiency has to be there then i'll i'll just quote the example of practical efficiency a tutor has taught the entire class of swimming he has given a presentation ppt is shown the video is also shown and then for 2 3 hours the class of 6 students were taught different swimming styles the back strokes were taught the uh, the breast strokes was taught the freestyle was taught everything is taught and then the coach the tutor says now let's go for a practical he take all the 6 um people over there for swimming and he pushed one of the person into the tank the person who has learned swimming just now never had been in the water earlier and he starts drowning so what he does he starts moving his hands and legs up with with a complete fear of losing the life and water rushing into the nose and the mouth and out of all the fear very rigorously with a very high speed he starts moving hands and legs then the tutor on the sure he will say that what type of stroke you are exhibiting he says sar salamat to pagdi pajas that means if i am able to be, remain alive then i can very finely tell and share whatever strokes you have shown to me typically keeping the head above the water level is a minimum requirement once we are able to keep the head above water level then we stylish all the strokes we can play very stylishly and then all minute details we can work out but keeping the head above water is most simple significant and important whatever education you take if you are not able to earn your bread and butter then people say what is the use of education no sir i am commerce graduate i am arts graduate i am medical graduate i am engineering graduate people say whatever graduation you might have done are you able to earn a money sufficient enough to your survival and can you sustain the expenditure of family if not then your education is not very much important then character excellence people say that if wealth is lost nothing is lost if health is lost something is lost but if character is lost everything is lost to that extent people give the importance to the character and now after seeing you can see around 12 13 15 points i have mentioned these are the characteristics of commando and these are the virtues in your student life in your school and your college you are supposed to imbibe all this thing if you fail to get all this thing then from whichever school and college you might have been educated whichever discipline you might have been educated and howsoever meritorious your score might be in academics people give least importance to this i frequently quote an example a boy was there he was not able to write an application and his uncle shouted at him that you are a totally fool you are not able to write an application and you call yourself as vcom question is now how we can tell no no uncle i am not vcom i am mcom you understand jaha vcom ke izzat nikal rahi hai vcom ke kapde nikal rahe hain can you say that i am mcom matlab mcom ye batane wali degree banegi nahi ye to chupane wali degree banegi so why to acquire the ornaments which you are supposed to hide and you are not supposed to exhibit education and qualification are such thing that when you acquire the qualification you should actually deserve to have that qualification 
you must have all the thing which is expected from you through that qualification or else you have to hide the qualification we'll go next in this competitive information era the knowledge is growing continuously and hence every time new concepts are emerging like for example i did my mechanical engineering way back in 1983 that means 37 years earlier now you'll find what i had learned and what is expected now are absolutely different what i learned has already gone out of date so typically my education and my b mechanical degree from vnit i passed in a with a merit, meritorious score is already gone out of date but then my qualification and degree can go out of date but i should not go out of date that naturally what i have to do i have to keep pace with the time and therefore the knowledge is growing continuously and hence every time new concepts are emerging all are supposed to imbibe the same quickly the quantum of experience and knowledge possessed by an individual is continuously perishing and getting obsolete while his ability to learn new things faster than others is going to dominate the scene so what is required during education if you read one lesson more or one lesson less doesn't matter much but you should be able to have higher level of grasping power a new chapter started by teacher you should be able to understand and learn it faster than your colleague the grasping has to be more and that is the reason why the computer companies they come to engineering college and pick up the engineers on mass scale and they say that engineer of any branch of discipline is acceptable to us how come a fellow who has learned computer for 30 subjects in 4 years and fellow who has learned mechanical engineering with one subject of computer both of them are equivalent how they are equivalent company says that if they don't have knowledge of computer we will give them knowledge but if they don't have ability to learn we can't help them and therefore companies take aptitude test check their ability and capability to learn and then help them and therefore last before i zoom on my uh, two topics therefore the individual should always be on the toes and should continuously try to do self analysis why self analysis where i am lacking where i am lacking as compared to my batchmates what are my strengths what are my weaknesses how i can get fit into the environment how i can excel how i can ride the rising tide proactively set new goals and target all of us are very competent to set the new goals and target we resolve many things this year we got 70% mark immediately we resolve next time i'll come in the first five um, toppers in my class now without bothering about how much efforts i will have to take we are very comfortable and strong in resolving that next time i'll come in top 3 next time i'll lead and top the class but then that particular resolution is not called as conviction i'll just explain you the uh, how one is supposed to exhibit the strength of conviction and the power of concentration then surface out the excellence within everybody is having different facet of excellence in him and therefore the excellence in one need not be similar or same as excellence in other a typical example which we give that the sugar cane is having excellence of sweetness while the sandalwood is having excellence of fragrance now sandalwood suppose go on rubbing go on rubbing the sandalwood but till the sandalwood get vanish but it will never produce sweetness because sweetness is not the characteristics of sandalwood so typically every individual has a different level of excellence in him and one person having one level of excellence cannot exhibit the other domain of the excellence like sandalwood can always excel in fragrance but about sweetness it cannot produce anything and typically as an individual we should try to understand what we excel in ajay may excel in one thing while vijay may excel in other now we should not insist that all of them should excel in one domain and therefore try to do self analysis is very much important and then proactively set the new goals and target finally what for all this thing in order to surface the excellence within people say there is a god in each one of you and god in one each one of us we are unable to reveal ourselves and therefore others are unable to see god in us the moment we are able to reveal god in ourselves others also start witnessing the same what is god god is a extreme of excellence and therefore excellence in some or the other domain which we have we have to surface it out 
how to surface it out and how to see the god typically this is the thing which is achieved by strength of conviction and power of concentration turn the expertise in oneself with continuously changing expectation of this customer oriented era now i'll come down to the exactly how we go about like when i talk about the strength of conviction many times we decide something we follow for one or two day and then forget now that will not increase our strength of conviction conviction means drudha nischay the moment we decide that i am going to do this then let all the thing in the world become adverse all the thing become try to stop us from doing it when we have decided that means we are going to do it definitely now gradually how we go for it how to develop the strength of conviction what we do you decide to do something for example a very simple thing let's decide that we are going to follow and observe a fast on a particular day say this thursday uh, i am going to follow the fast the idea is that we are deciding that i am going to observe fast on thursday and then thursday comes we have resolved it two two three days earlier and then at the time of resolution our mindset was completely ready for it but as and when the time comes when thursday comes thursday evening comes and there is a party arranged by our friends and gradually there are cracks to our resolution and we say no no today is party i cannot avoid party instead of today i'll observe the past tomorrow that means we are ready to become ready to compromise with our resolution if we compromise with our resolution our strength of conviction decreases and as our strength of conviction decreases gradually we lose self confidence a day will come then we will start thinking that whatever i decide i cannot obey i cannot achieve because i don't have control over myself how to build a strength of conviction a very small exercise i will give to all of you which is very much practical and feasible for all of us all of you are studying in 10th 11th and 12th people say that these are the turning points of the life these are the crucial year we have heard lot of it how to become ready for that how to build a strength of conviction do small resolution follow them and have after the fulfillment pat yourself i resolved to do this i did it and now i am a successful fellow i am competent and i deserve to resolve further thing in future and i'll complete it i'll resolve i'll complete it and therefore a day will come that whatever i say people and everybody in the world will conclude that this is going to happen because this gentleman has resolved such the strength is acquired i'll just tell you how to give training to our body and mind to go uh, adhere to in the direction of our goals and targets with the conviction i'll just ask you if you are every day you are waking up early in the morning at 6 o'clock <clears throat> what you do now you just set on the alarm set on the alarm today and then you try to wake up early in the morning tomorrow at 5 o'clock like monday you set the alarm for tuesday morning and in mind you resolve that i am going to wake up tomorrow tuesday morning at 5 o'clock when you are habituated to wake up early in the morning at 6 o'clock every day resolution is required to be have something different against our habit different than our habit resolve it on monday that i'll wake up early morning at 5 o'clock on tuesday you'll find next morning alarm will be there and you will get awake out of the alarm and then uh, your resolution is fulfilled tuesday evening you once again set the alarm wednesday you wake up wednesday evening you once again set the alarm you will realize instead of 5 o'clock the alarm due to alarm you will not get awakened but you are awakening before the alarm because your mind is getting tuned and your instructions your instruction to mind are set and the clock of the mind is set and before 5 o'clock you you get awakened and then you realize that the alarm is uh, you will you will notice the alarm after you are awakened that means due to alarm you are not awakened but you are awakened out of after i mean uh, before the alarm how it happened how it happened every day when you resolve that tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock i am going to get up this resolution of yourself is a, a slow and hidden instruction a subconscious mind is being instructed that you are supposed to get awakened at 
फाइव ओ क्लॉक एंड फ्रॉम डेविएशन फ्रॉम नॉर्मल हैबिट मे रिक्वायर थ्री फोर डेज टू गेट ट्यून टू एंड ग्रेजुअली ऑन थर्ड और फोर्थ डे यूर माइंड विल स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड यूर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड विल बी अकॉर्डिंगली इंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड इन द स्लीप ऑल्सो यू विल बी इंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड रिमाइंडेड एट फाइव ओ क्लॉक यू आर सपोज टू गेट अवेक Just imagine if you give the instruction to the subconscious mind with the intensity, your strength of conviction increases. Remember, suppose you are required to go on a picnic on a particular day, and the train is going to leave Nagpur railway station at six o'clock. So you are supposed to start from your home at five o'clock so that you can reach railway station. Your all batchmates are assembled over there, and you are going to have enjoyment for the entire day. And under that particular enjoyment expectation you start your home at 5 o'clock in order to start from home at 5 o'clock you may get you may wake up at early morning 3:30 and finish your morning rituals and you get ready by 5 o'clock and you proceed yourself to the railway station don't you think this is against your all habits but then when you are committed to that particular cause you are convinced that i am going to enjoy every inch of my picnic and therefore i don't want to miss i in no case i want to miss the train which is taking all my batchmates to the picnic spot and therefore because you are so determined now this basically increases your strength of conviction the more you are determined about the goals and our target your subconscious mind is being instructed accordingly and therefore it allows you to behave similarly so strength of conviction is required as a virtue and which will decide the altitude in your career but then in student a you have to gradually develop that strength of conviction like you resolve that at evening 7 o'clock i am going to study this particular chapter of physics now it may require one hour to study that chapter so from 7 to 8 i am going to study that chapter when you actually when you resolve resolve like this i will not sleep till i finish that chapter now when you start studying at 7 o'clock you realize that around 8 o'clock the chapter should have been finished but it is not getting finished some concepts are difficult you are finding it difficult to understand you are not able to proceed ahead and you may require two hour you may require two and half hour three hour but then you have resolved that i will not go to sleep till i finish this and then you finish this after finishing you go to sleep what a level of satisfaction and the joy of fulfillment you will have that i have decided to do something and i did it i have not bothered about the world at large and i am able to monitor my own behavior taking control of our own behavior having the reins of our body and hand body and mind in our hand is basically increasing the self confidence that i have decided a thing and i am able to do it and therefore we are able to make it friends i'll just finish my concept of the power of concentration in next few minutes and then keep the forum open for question answer power of concentration has been told to us in even uh, with the uh, stories in mahabharata the guru dronacharya told every each one of the disciple that you concentrate and then a bird a artificial bird was kept on the tree and then dronacharya said what you are seeing now every disciple commented differently somebody say that i am seeing dog under the tree somebody saying i am seeing horse under the tree somebody say that i am seeing the stem stem of the tree somebody observe the leaves somebody flower somebody fruits somebody the birds flying uh, in the sky somebody saw the bird somebody saw the desired bird by the dronacharya but only arjuna could see the eye of the desired bird eye of the target naturally everybody everybody uh, targeted the arrows towards it whatever they saw the arrow got targeted to that as arjuna only was able to see the eye of that particular bird his arrow got into and targeted to the eye of the bird that means if you have a full power of concentration and you are determined to your goal in a very very sharper way definitely you are going to achieve your goal or else because of getting defocus from your target because of having a lack of concentration if you get defocus then naturally your main target is not achieved i always give an example to everybody that we find that a sun is having tremendous energy the sun is continuously i mean having full energy and the the heat of the sun we are not able to bear in the summer in summer we realize that the sun is completely 
showering the heat on all of us, radiating the heat on all of us, and we are not able to sustain it, we feel very, very uh, fatigued and tired in the uh, sun in the afternoon, in the sky, in the, in, the, in the ground where we stand over there. Now, don't you think the power of the sun is tremendous? But we realize that some sheets of papers, some papers are lying on the ground. The sun is trying to burn them. Sun is unable to burn them. In spite of showering is and radiating is all heat, maybe for last one month, one year, two years, or maybe 10, 15 years, sun is not able to ignite those particular pieces of the paper. Now, we put a lens, a convex lens between sun and the paper. What happens? The convex lens converges all the rays of the sun, and then at a focal point, you find intense energy is created. All of a sudden, the piece of paper start getting ignited and start getting burned. How it happened? Whether sun is powerful or lens is powerful? Many of us think that as the when the lens, sun was there, nothing happened to the piece of paper. When lens was brought in, the piece of paper started burning. So who is powerful, sun or the lens? So many of us think that lens is powerful because in absence of lens, nothing happened. In presence of lens, the miracle happened and piece of paper started burning. If the power would have been in the lens, when we have kept the lens along with our clothes in the cupboard, the cupboards in the cupboard, the clothes are never ignited. The so power is not in the lens. Power is in the sun only. But when all the sun rays are defocused, they are not able to exhibit the desired result. Maybe it's been so many days, so many months, so many years. But when the lens is brought in between, in a fraction of second, the same sun rays with same energy are able to ignite the piece of paper. I why I give this example to all of you. I'll just relate it with your all efforts in study since last so many years. Most of you are in 10th, 11th and 12th. So you are in actual, uh, maybe you have, you have already finished your education of 9 or 10 years up till now. Now in last 10 years, you were not able to show the world your own power of intelligence, your power of grasping, your power of wisdom, your power of your brain and your talent. Why? Because that all intelligence and talent was defocused. The moment you bring lens in between, you find you focus your talent, you focus your intelligence, you focus your concentration, you realize that all of a sudden, maybe in the exam of 10th or 11th or 12th, the entire world will get astonished with the manifestation and exhibition of your talent and intelligence which you do. It's not that any extra talent or intelligence you are bringing, but you are only focusing whatever you are having with you into the cause and things become very, very sharp. How to, like I have told you, what is the strength of conviction? I have told you how to increase the strength of conviction. Do small resolution, achieve them. Do small resolution, achieve them. Do small resolution, achieve them. Gradually, day will come. They will come that your strength of in, uh, conviction will start increasing. Similarly, how to increase the power of concentration? I normally give a suggestion to all the students that you decide a human mind cannot concentrate for more than uh, five to 10 minutes. You can decide a timer. You can decide a timer. I normally used to say that uh, uh, every student, what he should do, whatever, whatever faith आप अगरबत्ती जलाइए फेथ रखिए भगवान के ऊपर फेथ रखे अच्छाई के ऊपर फेथ रखिए खुद के ऊपर और स्टार्ट स्टडी एक बात ध्यान में रखेंगे अगरबत्ती पूरी जलने तक पढ़ाई की जगह से हटना नहीं है जिस आसन में आप पढ़ाई कर रहे हो उस आसन से हटना नहीं है मतलब स्टूल पे बैठे चेयर पे बैठे दरी पे बैठे टेबल पे बैठे बेंच पे बैठे जैसे जिस पोजीशन में आप बैठे हैं उस पोजीशन को बिना डिस्टर्ब किए फुल कंसंट्रेशन के साथ में आपने पढ़ाई करना है अगरबत्ती जलने के बाद खत्म हो गई अगरबत्ती आप वहां से हट जाइए घूम फिर के आइए फोन करिए किसी को इससे उससे बातचीत करिए दैट मींस व्हाट यू आर रिजॉल्विंग दैट फॉर नेक्स्ट 10 मिनट्स नेक्स्ट 15 मिनट्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू ब्रिंग एनी अदर थॉट इन माय माइंड इफ आई एम रीडिंग फिजिक्स आई विल डीफोकस माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम एवरी अदर थिंग देन फिजिक्स एंड नेक्स्ट 15 मिनट्स आई एम गोइंग टू ज़ूम फुल कंसंट्रेशन ऑन फिजिक्स and human being cannot have full concentration for longer time. Doesn't matter. 
let's have the capsules of 10 and 15 minutes and then we'll multiply these capsules 15 minutes concentrated study study karo baad mein 5 10 minute ka break le lo fir se 15 minute concentrated study karo and you will see that your effective study has increased study kaise karna with a pressure kaise pressure lena aapko ki month of march april mein jo final exam rahengi uske liye jo aapko aaj study jo kar rahe ek paragraph aapne 15 minute mein study kiya study it with full concentration aisa man mein samajh lo ki uski आप फिर से रिवीजन करने वाले नहीं है आप आपको समय नहीं मिलने वाला है रिवीजन के लिए आपको डायरेक्ट आज जो पढ़ रहे हैं आप पंद्रह मिनट में ये डायरेक्ट अप्रैल 2021 में आपको परीक्षा में लिखना है उसके बीच में कहीं भी रिवीजन नहीं है इतना प्रेशर मन पे बिल्ड करो सबकॉन्शियस माइंड को इंस्ट्रक्ट करो टूडे दैट इज आई एम गोइंग टू डू दिस नाउ एंड नेवर मैं अभी करूंगा और इसके बाद कभी नहीं करूंगा आई विल रिटेन इट थ्रू आउट माई लाइफ Now, if you go with that type of conviction, the level of concentration gradually increases. Friend, whatever you want to achieve in life, with the strength of conviction and power of concentration, only you can achieve it. Student age is the right age to build this strength of conviction and power of concentration. All the best to all of you. I conclude my session over here and then make the session open for question and answer. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sure our children will get a positive, and I mean, for your positive and motivating approach, and our students will learn from that. Uh, there are a few questions. I'll yeah. call upon uh, Raj uh, Shaker of Class Twelve to right. ask your question. Over to Raj Shaker. Yeah. Right. Uh, good morning, sir. I'm Raj Shaker, Balaji of Class Twelve. Yeah, uh, Raj Shaker, would you please put on your video and ask? Yeah. Uh, I'm on laptop, sir. I'm, I won't be able to. I'm sorry. Okay, proceed. So, uh, I mean, my basic question was based on the power of concentration, as you said just now. Sure. Um, like I get it that we are unable to. Sometimes we are unable to, unless you're trained and you have been doing it for a long time, you are unable to sit and give a full concentration on a task for more than fifteen minutes, I guess. Right, right. But at this point, like for us. I'm in class 12, right? So we've got a lot of portions, lot of topics in a single chapter, and a, a single topic has multiple subtopics. So yes. if we sit for like half an hour, even right. we won't be able to complete the entire topic in like one go, even even with full concentration. Right. So um, continue, continue. Say, uh, so let's say we increase the time, right? Of uh, our sitting. Right. Uh, what would you say to decrease the uh, number of Divergences from our topic. Like, what should I do personally so that I can stop myself from getting distracted from other people? That's what I'm saying. Uh, look here. What I, I told you that our they, I, I have given a speech for one hour. My entire speech was consisting of so many sentences. So many sentences were consisting of so many words. Now, can we digitalize it? Like, whatever study you want to do, you just confine yourself to study which can be managed in ten minutes to fifteen minutes. i call it is a capsule of 15 minutes okay whatever is there you take a piece of study of 15 minutes but what is my appeal to all of you you should study that topic for 15 minutes in such a way that next 6 month or 8 month suppose you do not revise it still you should retain it see the the power of concentration is built with a challenge the challenge is such that i am not going to the typically what happens people do 10 hours 12 hours 13 hours studies and then month of june is full of studies they get totally fatigued with the study and in month of july what you are going to do they say we are once again going to study you ask any question in month of june to them they say no sir we have forgotten then in july what you do you will forget in august august what you do you forget in november typically what happen throughout the year what you have studied you have forgotten by march now what is the use of that study which you are going to forget so volatilely and doing such study for 12 and 15 hours i say you do a study for 15 minutes i'll just give an example to you my uh, sanskrit teacher in my school taught us that you learn sanskrit in such a way that you are going to hold it throughout your life now she never said that it will be, be used for the summer examination or annual examination and you can score marks like mathematics now those were not the reason for learning sanskrit my madam used to say that learn sanskrit because it is having lot of content useful in life so that you can retain it throughout life so look here what is the challenge you learn now and therefore i have learned sanskrit when i was in 8th 9th 10th 
way back in 1975, 76, 77, I have learned Sanskrit. I have learned a Sanskrit Subhashita of four lines. Such 70, 80 Subhashita, I am going to remember, I am remembering today also without practicing for last 37 years. Because then I learned my all subjects of mechanical engineering and I'm teaching mechanical engineering in English medium for last 37 years. I have not revised my Sanskrit Subhashita any time for last 37 years. How I am remembering now? My Sanskrit teacher told me, you learn it for the life and you are going to require it throughout life. So there is no question of revision. There is no question of forgetting. So you learn now in such a way, now and it will be never subsequently. And now you have to retain it forever. Now with this resolution, suppose you learn a 15 minutes topic, you will find uh, you can even stop your studying after 10 minutes or 12 minutes because concentration holding for 15 minutes is also a big challenge. 10 to 12 minutes, I call that you study should be in the capsules of 10 to 12 minutes. Then you are allowed to disturb yourself, your position, posture, interact with your colleagues, your neighbors, your relatives. You can give a phone call, but once again sit. Once you sit, a slot of 15 minutes. Like with entire study in a day, make in a slots of 15 minutes at a time. And with full concentration and responsibility, do the study. I hope I am my to partially satisfied you. Yes, sir. Thank you. So there's another question from Gargi of 10th G. Yeah. Yeah, Gargi. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Gargi Kharwari from class 10th G. Right. Uh, my question is that, how might you encourage practices that help students identify and verbalize their feeling and emotion mm -hmm. uh, and develop multiple techniques for coping up with them? Uh, okay, all right, right. I'll, I, I'll take your question in two components. One component is how to handle the situation and other component is how to express it. Like for example, when you get a, a emotional uh, input which you get, how to sustain that emotional input? Now whether you express or not, but sustenance is required. Typically you find that is, that is called as emotional quotient. In a student age, you should practice to sustain the and increase enhance the emotional quotient. Emotional quotient has two components. One is emotional tolerance. Okay. That is how you can sustain emotion of others. And how do you regulate emotions of yourself? How do you control your own emotion? And how do you respond to the emotion exhibited by others? Okay. These both together will become emotional uh, quotient. Now, typically you have to build your personality in such a way that every human interaction you should handle as a very, very soothe I mean, a soothen and a very, very mature approach. Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita said, this state is called as Stita Pradnya, that you stabilize your Pradnya in such a way that you are not deterred by the defeat and you are not over enthusiastically exaggerated by any success. Matlab hum kisi success se hum jada dimaag ke andar ghusega nahi success or failure humko kahi niche giraega nahi. So whatever may be the situation, like one of the a couplet I will try to share with you. Kya haar mein, kya jeet mein, kin chit nahi bhai bheet mein, kartavya patha par joh bile, yah bhi sahi, vah bhi sahi, vardaan maangunga nahi, vardaan maangunga nahi, til til mitunga, par daya ki bheek maangunga nahi, vardaan maangunga nahi. So kya haar mein, kya jeet mein. So in all the situation, if you are able to keep our mind stable, that will enrich our EQ. And emotional quotient is very much required. And the second component of your question is how to express it. Now, do not express your emotions with anybody and everybody. You should find good people, well wisher around you, ensure that first, and then sure share your emotions because there are chances of getting exploited, or maybe people may laugh at your emotion and that will reduce your self confidence. Best way. Share emotions with your kids and kids, your brother, sister, mother, parents, your teacher, and they will definitely not make fun of you and laugh at you. And they will understand you and support you in your emotional upsurges as well. Gargi, am I satisfying you? Yes, sir. Thank you. Right. So we have a next question from Sejal of class 12. Okay. Yes, Sejal. Oh, very good morning, sir. 
All right. So I am Tejal Mahajan from class 12th, and my right. question is that, uh, sir, uh, being at home, we are feeling very lack of competition. Uh, mm -hmm. The atmosphere that we used to have in our schools, uh, it is not the same in our home. Many yeah. disturbances are there, and uh, we are getting diverted from our track. And uh, so, how to overcome this negative thought? Now, this is the uh, this is the challenge which you are sharing with me. Now, I'll tell you, I have given in my presentation, convert the challenge into opportunity. Now, how this challenge can be converted into opportunity? You don't have competition. Now, typically you'll find that competition is to be understood in two connotations. One is competition for existence, survival, understood? Other is competition for excellence. Now, when we want to survive in the life in the world to earn our bread and butter, we must compete with others because we have to compete with others. A job is one, 10 people are applying for it. We have to be best among the 10 and then we'll get a job. So for survival and existence, competing with other is essential but then to bring best within you like people say there is a god in each one of us now can we reveal god in ourselves and explore and exhibit it and surface it out that is called as excellence in order to get excellence we must compete with ourselves and covid pandemic is the right occasion to get an opportunity to compete with ourselves though we don't have people around us to compete don't get discouraged when people are there around, you learn compete with others. That is, you learn how to survive. And when there is nobody around, you compete with yourself and then you can go and start a journey, a path towards the excellence, achieving excellence. And then that is the path of competing with yourself. So your today's performance has to be better than your yesterday's performance. So my today should be better than my yesterday. And my tomorrow has to be better than my today. Nothing to do with today, tomorrow, yesterday's of others. Now, this is a path towards excellence. Okay, so this is an opportunity. This uh, COVID is making all of us a little bit introvert. And then when we are interacting with outside world, compete with others. When we are interacting with inside world, compete with yourself. And that is the higher goal of life. Competing with the self is the higher goal of life. Is it clear, Gargi? Sejal? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So we have another question from Yashika of 10C. Okay. Yashika. Please. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I am Yashika Advani from class 10C. Right. And I have a question Please. that we students study for hours, but sometimes we are not able to understand what we're learning or we're not able to catch what Correct. we're learning. So what do we do in such situations? Do you see that what I have explained is the power of concentration? You yes. are studying hours together without concentration. And therefore, what you have done in the morning, you have to redo in afternoon, and you have to once again revise in the evening. Because what you have done in morning, you forget in evening. Are you getting it? That means you learn in morning for forgetting. What I told you, I have learned Sanskrit Subhashit 37 years ago. I am not forgetting because I learned at that time with concentration. So I am asking you to learn with concentration. Do not increase number of hours increase quality of that hour with the concentration and again concentration is not a magic you have to develop habit of concentration deliberately it won't happen automatically rather concentration is not a natural phenomena you have to go against the nature and then build a concentration okay when you build a concentration you are overpowering the nature like a man is a chanchal so it will be there उसको deliberately पकड़ के एक जगह बिठाना पड़ता है तो इस एन आर्टिफिशियल नेचुरल कोगे तो मन भटके गए दैट इज गोइंग टू मूव हियर एंड देयर आई थिंक सो यार शेखर योर डाउट इज क्लियर सो वन मोर क्वेश्चन लास्ट दैट इज प्रत्युषा ऑफ टेन सी शी वांट्स टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन गुड मॉर्निंग सर my name is pratyusha kandegula i am from class 10c right. and my question was when we practice with complete concentration and our portion is completed hmm. but when we appear for examination and the paper comes at that moment personally i panic a lot mm -hmm. and that somewhere results in me forgetting few answers or the methods so how do i tackle that situation or how do i overcome that panicness I answer your question and it is there for everybody. 
Now, typically what happens, there are two components in getting success in exam. One is study and understanding. And second is performance. Study occurs throughout the year and performance occurs during exam. Now, whatever you study, it may happen with many students that they think two in mind, two. And while writing, they write three. And they will never understand that mistake. They check the paper and they still, that three written on the paper, they read as two. Because their mental setup is considering it to be two. Now, this is called as performance error. Now, study, whatever study you do throughout the year, you cannot avoid performance error. Performance error can be avoided by practice. So for performance error, practice is required. And for understanding the thing, the concepts are required. Concepts are to be understood during the study throughout the year. And performance errors are removed by practice, more practice, concentrated practice during preparation leave. Practice during preparation leave will uh, minimize the performance error during examination. But during many students, what they do, during preparation leave, they start studying. Now, for studying, the entire year should be used. And for test series type of thing, giving practice to yourself to minimize performance error, preparation leave should be used. Preparation leave is not for starting study. Preparation leave is for revising the study and improving your performance. Thank you, sir. We are almost uh, to the close of uh, this uh, virtual conference. Uh, I would like to very, very uh, especially thank uh, uh, Dr. Surendra for uh, uh, sharing from uh, from your from the depth of your thoughts with ample number of explanations uh, uh, how to strengthen our conviction and to enhance the power of uh, concentration. Dear students, uh, I just want to catch on. Uh, with an example that uh, doctor has shared with us this morning about cricket. Uh, if uh, you have had watched yesterday uh, the match between Mumbai Indians and uh, Delhi Capitals, 11 plus uh, 11 players, 22 of them played uh, are play, uh, played a match. And then uh, those uh, cricket lovers, uh, particularly the boys, would, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, would definitely remember the score of uh, all 22 players. <laughs> uh, Rohit, uh, Rohit Sarma's uh, 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 score, uh, D. Cock scored 50 plus. So why it is possible for you to have that concentration there to remember the score of 22 players and why is not possible for you to uh, learn uh, for one year and remember the one chapter of your physics? I think Sarah has uh, given you, uh, explained the intensity and the interest with which you uh, study what matters. So uh, that is an area where uh, you can uh, concentrate on. She has given you excellent characteristics of a commando. No, very uh, solid uh, 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 virtues and uh, uh, values that you must have uh, uh, to become successful uh, in your life. Challenges should be taken as opportunities and not like a pessimist Challenges should not be considered as a calamity. The story of swimming taught uh, using the PowerPoint and the actual uh, condition uh, of struggling for life in the water is very interesting. And dear students, remember, not your marks, not uh, anything else that matters. Your ability to learn he has been uh, very focused on uh, telling us the corporate world the successful people, the winners in, in life are people with ability to learn faster. Definitely do self-analysis daily. Self-analysis is uh, equally important. And I would like to once again uh, thank uh, Dr. Uh, Surendra for uh, 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 with a very, very uh, uh, deep concentration uh, with concrete and crystal clear examples explaining uh, uh, the topic uh, to our students. Uh, thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Wish I you think, the very best. I think I take this opportunity to thank the organizer, the Montfort School, uh, the principal, uh, Brother Shine, and all the faculty members. And I would like to also thank all of you students 
because if you learn and you interacted with me with a concentration which is executed by your question answer at the end i really uh, i'm sure that you are going to be very very successful in your life all the best to all of you thank you thank you sir thank you reverend brother last but maybe mm, uh, the teacher has uh, lost her connectivity acha you're back uh, miss vini we yes, could not hear you yeah please please uh, continue yeah. yes thank you children once again thank you sir thank you rebuta i lost my thank you thank you sir thank you very much thank you i log off now thank you